All right, here's the Rampage lift as it's installed in the back of this uh, short bed Dodge pickup. It's composed of three components. You have the base frame which bolts into the bed of the pickup truck. You have the inner slide, which is the big metal plate there. And then you have the uh, wheel cup table, which the front wheel of the motorcycle fits into and you tie off to. This is a winch driven system. There you can see the winch cable which attaches to the wheel cup. It has the uh, lock release mechanism so that the wheel cup stands up. Here you see the controller plugged into the solenoid box on the side of the rampage. Once we pick up the controller This moves the winch one way or the other. So the first thing we do is remove the fixed pin to travel. Then we take the controller. We have to play out the slack. Gravity starts to take over. And as you can see, it moves by itself. And it gets to the point where it stops, where there's a stop built in. Here you can see the cotter key inserted into the, uh, the second guide tube pin block assembly to stabilize the inner slide mechanism from moving up and down. This allows the wheel cup table to move up and down after you remove the number one pin. See the wheel cup is coming down to the end of the inner slide. Before we open this release mechanism, which allows the wheel cup to stand straight up so you can pull the bike into it, we have to insert the pin, the stabilizing pin, into the number three position. And here you see the pin inserted into the number three latch position, which stabilizes the wheel table. Here you see how I've secured the soft tie around the fork leg, above the triple clamp, and fed it out underneath the fairing. Here you see the soft tie as it comes out from under the fairing so it doesn't bind. And that's what the S-hook of the tie down is going to fit to. Now you start on the kickstand side for obvious reasons. You don't want to pull the bike over the other way. Alright, you can see how I have secured the S-hook on the tie downs to both the lug tie off lug on the crossbar and do the soft tie on the motorcycle and I've just snugged it up each side and the kickstand is still down supporting the bike because the when we engage the winch it's going to pull the cable down and roll the table forward snugging it up even further and compressing the uh, the forks of the bike. We've moved the 
we've shortened the cable, we've moved it up on the winch, and see how it's rolled, the wheel cup is rolled forward, and the bike, while still sitting, the kickstand is down, you'll see that the kickstand actually isn't even supporting it at this point in time. It's being supported by the rampage. And this bike is leaning a little to the left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take up on the uh, the brake side strap to see if I can get it to stand up a little straighter. Okay, I have readjusted the straps. So, and I've shortened up on the left one, on the brake side one. And uh, left the clutch one the same. And it's pulled up into the wheel cup. And as you can see, the bike is now standing much straighter than it was because it's no longer leaning to the right. And you know, like I said, it takes a little bit of patience to uh, figure out how to get your bike strapped down. Now there's two critical things. First thing we have to do is remove the stay pin for the wheel cup table. And double check, always double check to be sure you have the inner, uh, the inner slide guide tube pin in place. Okay, we have now removed the uh, wheel cup table stay pin. Make sure the bike is out of gear. Now when it gets to the top, you insert the pin into the hole number one. Remove pin number two. You may have to rock the winch back and forth a little bit to take the pressure off of pin number two. back down. Then you have to pin the inner guide to block position two. and unpin position one with the wheel cup table. And back down she comes. 